Wow, you know, you're going places in the bureau when the assistant director tidies up your office for you. What's up? I was just, uh, looking. For anything special? I came down to ask you something. I, uh, I guess I was nosing around, wondering about you, your, uh, long-term plans. My long-term plans? You got them right there in your hands. What do you hope to find? I mean, in the end. Whatever I hope to find is in here. Maybe I'll know it when I find it. Is that what you came to ask me? No. There's a case, nothing I'd send you normally. A murder, an assassination of a Russian, a chess player. The shooter is former National Security Agency, one of ours. He's got a lot of people upset. This kid, Jeffrey Spender, special agent Spender, he's been given the case. He's running it. Did you give it to him? No. It came as an order from somewhere outside the Bureau. He's got his team assembled upstairs right now. He was very specific that you be excluded. Using a weapon registered to a U.S. intelligence agency, the shooter fired one kill shot at Anatole Klebanow before being captured without incident a short distance from the scene. No motive has been established, nor has the shooter offered up a statement or accomplice. Please continue. The trajectory of the kill shot suggests the shooter acted alone, but we cannot yet rule out an accomplice or conspiracy. A single bullet was fired from a catwalk at a steep angle, striking the target just right of the solar plexus. Well, I'm sorry, can you rewind the tape? Please, I'll tell you where. Just take it back. Let me get through this. If you have any questions, we can talk later. I don't, I don't have any questions, no. I just think you're wrong. Mulder, what are you doing? I don't think the Russian was the target. I think it was his opponent. His opponent, Agent Mulder, was a 12-year-old boy. And a good chess player. Here, let me show you his best move if you just take it back. Okay, stop it there. Look what the kid does right here, right before the kill shot. Play. You see what he does? He just pushes back. You see that? He's just completed a checkmate. He's pushing back because the game's over. No, no, you described a steep trajectory for the kill shot. If the kid doesn't push back at that precise moment, he catches the bullet in the back of the neck, not the Russian. Can we move on here? I think Agent Mulder is right. Looks like the boy sensed the shooter precognitively. If you rewind the tape, you'll see it. There's no way. It's impossible. Let's rewind the tape so we can all see for ourselves. <laughs> 